Have you seen any of our prior videos on time? Well, as it turns out, <laughs> we barely scratched the surface. And since you can't get enough, that we can't get enough, well, get ready to have your mind blown all over again as we dive even deeper into the fascinating world of time. From historical quirks to mind-bending paradoxes, this one is a video you're not going to want to miss. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 facts about time that'll hurt your brain. Sorry. 25. The faster you move, the slower time passes. Time is relative, and it actually slows down as you approach the speed of light. This is due to a fundamental principle of the universe. The speed of light in a vacuum is constant for all observers, no matter how fast they move. So technically, if you were zooming through space at nearly the speed of light, time would pass slower for you compared to people back here on Earth. Think about it this way. If you hopped on a spaceship and traveled at 99% of the speed of light for a year, when you returned to Earth, almost seven years would have passed for everyone else. You, essentially, have time traveled into the future. But don't get too excited. We haven't quite figured out how to build spaceships that fast. Yet. 24. Everything we see is in the past. That's right. Even the screen you're looking at right now isn't actually there. It's a ghost image from a fraction of a second ago. Why? Light, while incredibly fast, still takes time to travel. So the light from your screen has to flash across the room and into your eyes before your brain could even process it. That means you're living in a constant time delay, and nothing is what it seems. 23. That daylight saving myth. You've probably heard that daylight saving time was invented to help farmers, right? Well, get ready for a stunner. That's a total myth. Farmers weren't big fans of the idea, and for good reason. Cows and crops don't care about clocks. They follow the sun's natural rhythm. The sudden time shift disrupted farmers' carefully planned schedules, particularly when it came to coordinating with markets and suppliers. This, in turn, messed up their routines for milking, feeding, and harvesting. Basically, it created a whole bunch of unnecessary problems for them while offering no real benefits in return. 22. We've been tracking time for thousands of years. Our ancestors were timekeeping masters long before digital displays and ticking gears even existed. Thousands of years ago, under the open sky, some genius had an idea so simple, it's brilliant. Stick a stick in the ground and watch its shadow move, and boom, the sundial was born. But it wasn't just about sticking a stick in the dirt. The early invaders carefully marked the shadow's path, slicing up the day into segments and paving the way for our modern concept of hours. As civilizations grew, so did our timekeeping tools. Water clocks dripped, candle clocks burned, and hourglasses flipped, all in the name of measuring time when the sun wasn't around to help. 21. New clocks are set at 1010 for a reason. That 1010 you usually see isn't just a coincidence. There's actually a sneaky reason for it. Symmetry. Yep, that 1010 position creates a perfectly balanced look on the watch face. Kind of like a little happy smile. And who doesn't want a smiling watch or clock? It all boils down to aesthetics. That symmetrical setup is super pleasing to the eye, making the watch, or the clock, <laughs> look more attractive in ads and store displays. This is my clock from when I was a kid. This is my bathroom one. It actually floats in the water. It's like waterproof. It's kind of sweet. I've had this thing for like 30 some years. 20. The Nepali Bikram Sambat calendar. Did you know that Nepal follows the Bikram Sambat calendar, which is typically 56.7 years ahead of our Gregorian calendar? In fact, as of today, they're living in the year 2081. The unique calendar is a fascinating blend of ancient tradition and astronomical precision, and it's based on both solar and lunar cycles. So they're not just ahead of the curve, they're lapping us, and then some. That's, that's nothing. The Hebrew calendar, what are we at? Alexa, what year is it in the Hebrew calendar right now? According to the Hebrew calendar, the year is 5,784. Yeah, we're in year 5,784. Sup, bringing on, Nepal. <laughs> we're even further in the future. It's also lunar, which is why the Hanukkah seems to move constantly because Hebrew is a lunar calendar. You're welcome. Bonus fact. 
19. The average U.S. city commuter loses 38 hours a year to traffic delays. That's 38 hours you could have spent with family and friends, binge watching your favorite shows, or finally taking up that hobby you've been putting off. And it gets worse. In big cities like DC, LA, or San Fran, drivers are losing over 60 hours a year to traffic jams. That's two and a half days of your life per year wasted, just staring at the bumper in front of you. Ugh. 18. Until the 1800s, every village lived in its own little time zone. Before the late 1800s, every town basically set its own clock based on the sun's position at noon. This meant that if you walked down the road, you could suddenly gain or lose a few minutes. 105 in one town could magically become 115 in the next. It was like a real-life time travel adventure. But, you know, without the cool DeLorean or TARDIS. Or the time machine. So many cool time machines. Anyway, by the late 1800s, the rise of railroads and the need for accurate scheduling across long distances led to the adoption of standardized time zones. This brought order to the chaos and set the stage for the globally synchronized timekeeping we rely on today. 17. Flies see time differently. Fly eyes process information four times faster than our human peepers, which, as you can imagine, gives them an incredible advantage when it comes to detecting and reacting to threats. That's also why it's so damn hard to swat them. To them, your hand is moving in slow motion, giving them plenty of time to dodge and escape. It's like they're living in the Matrix while we're stuck in dial-up. 16. The OMG Particle in 1991, scientists at the University of Utah discovered a cosmic ray with such ridiculously high energy that it immediately earned the nickname the Oh My God Particle. The particle was hauling butt at nearly the speed of light, over 10 million times more energetic than anything we'd ever created in a particle accelerator. However, the OMG particle was not just mind-blowing because of its speed, scientists also discovered that they encountered a cosmic time capsule that probably originated from a distant source, like an exploding star or a supermassive black hole, billions, yes, billions of years ago. That means that when it finally reached Earth, it gave us a glimpse into a time long before our solar system existed. 15. Ethiopian time is uh, unique. Ethiopia's days don't start at midnight, they actually measure time from sunset, so their day begins when the sun goes down. So when they say it's 1 o'clock, they actually mean it's 1 hour after sunset, which could be just about 7 p.m. for some of us, depending on the time of year. Ethiopia's timekeeping system is deeply rooted in their ancient Coptic Christian traditions. They're not changing their traditions just to fit in with the rest of the world, and you know, that's, that's pretty neat. 14. Temporal Illusions You know that feeling when you're taking an exam and time just seems to go on forever? Or when you get on a roller coaster and time simply seems to fly by? It's called a temporal illusion, and it happens when your brain struggles to accurately judge the duration of events. Temporal illusions aren't just quirky brain behaviors, they have real-world implications and can affect everything from our decision-making to our experience of pain. 13. Another thing about daylight saving. Is it daylight saving time or daylight savings time? It's a question that sparks grammar corrections every spring and fall, or any time we do a video on it. While the technically correct term is daylight saving time, the pluralized daylight savings time has become so widely used that it's almost as common as the correct version. The debate has even led some dictionaries to list both forms as acceptable. But why the confusion in the first place? The answer is simply that language isn't always perfectly consistent, and sometimes the most common usage wins out, even if it's not technically correct. 12. Putin the Time Lord Vladimir Putin, famous for his decisive acts, ditched the whole daylight savings thing back in, see I did it right there, back in 2011, deciding to just stick with summertime all year round. While this got rid of two time zones within Russia, there were still 11 different ones across the country. But he wasn't done. Following the invasion of Crimea in 2014, Putin moved the region's clocks two hours forward, bringing them in line with Moscow's time zone. While it was done to make Crimea feel more at home, and I am paraphrasing there, 
It also had the added benefit of consolidating authority over the newly acquired territories. 11. The Ones That Can't Decide In Tuba City, Arizona, time itself can be different depending on where you stand. I know, it sounds crazy, but Tuba City is part of the Navajo Nation, which follows daylight saving time, while the rest of Arizona doesn't. That means that for six months of the year, there's a one hour time difference between Tuba City and its surrounding areas, which, as you can imagine, creates horrible logistical challenges for the town's residents. Their frustration has fueled a growing movement in support of abolishing the silliness and synchronizing their time with the rest of the country. 10. Duration and Time Have you ever heard the saying, time flies when you're having fun? Well, the philosopher Amelie Bergson would say that that's because you're experiencing lived time, not just watching the clock. He called this subjective experience of time la durée, and it's different from objective time, the kind measured by ticking clocks and calendars. Objective time ticks away at a constant rate, but la durée is influenced by our emotions and memories. 9. Birds and Time Birds aren't just winging it when it comes to timekeeping. Their internal clocks, known as the circadian rhythm, are regulated by light-sensitive cells in their eyes and brains, which tell them when to sing, sleep, eat, and even migrate. While humans also possess a circadian rhythm that influences our sleep-wake cycle, our internal clocks aren't as precisely calibrated to the changing seasons and migratory cues as our feathered friends. Instead, our timekeeping mechanisms primarily help us to maintain regular sleep patterns and optimize our bodily functions throughout the day. 8. The Guys Who Want to Get Rid of Time Zones I know, it sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, and yet a pair of academics have dared to dream of a world without them. Economist Steve Hankey and physicist Richard Henry from Johns Hopkins University proposed a radical solution to the complexities of global timekeeping, abolish all time zones, and adopt a single universal time. While it could help us coordinate meetings and events and improve communication and efficiency across different locations, well, it could also disrupt time-specific operations, so it might not be a win for everyone. 7. Spain has been in the wrong time zone for 80 years. Spain's national time dates back to a controversial wartime decision. In a gesture of solidarity with Nazi Germany during World War II, General Francisco Franco, the authoritarian dictator who ruled Spain from 1939 to 1975, moved the nation's time zone one hour ahead, aligning it with Berlin instead of its geographic neighbors. Strangely, this shift, made in 1940, remains in effect today, leaving Spain perpetually out of sync with its geographic location in Western Europe. Six. Daylight Savings Dark Side We all know that daylight saving time is how we extend daylight hours and save energy to make the most of daylight during the winter seasons. However, it has a dark side. A 2022 study revealed a disturbing link between the spring DST transition and a 6.25% spike in suicide rates. That percentage moved to 6.59% after they combined it with the substance abuse deaths. The alarming trend, attributed to the sleep disruptions caused by the time change, underlines the unintended consequences of messing with our body's natural rhythms. 5. Sometimes, time is everything. In the world of competitive sports, time is the ultimate currency, and athletes will go to extraordinary lengths to save even a few precious seconds. Take triathletes, for example. In their relentless pursuit of shaving off time during races, some have adopted rather unconventional strategies, shall we say, when nature calls. Some have been known to relieve themselves while swimming, cycling, or running, all in the name of gaining a competitive edge. Yeah, they, they pee their pants. I guess when you've dedicated countless hours to training and qualifying for prestigious events like the Ironman World Championship in Hawaii, a little leakage might seem like a small price to pay for a podium finish. 4. Swahili-speaking countries have an almost perfect time zone. While most of us grapple with the complexities of time zones and the ever-shifting hands of the clock, people living in many Swahili-speaking countries enjoy a unique advantage. Thanks to their proximity to the equator, these nations live in near-perfect alignment between their timekeeping and the natural rhythm of the sun. 
In places like Kenya and Tanzania, the sun both rises and sets at approximately 6 o'clock, which means that these people are used to a natural harmony between day and night. 3. How Greenwich Became the Prime Meridian Have you ever wondered why the Prime Meridian is called the Greenwich Meridian? This seemingly arbitrary line passing through the Royal Observatory in Greenwich marks the starting point for measuring longitude, the angular distance east or west of a particular location on Earth. It all came together in 1884, when the world gathered for a time-defining conference, where representatives from 25 nice nations and states, including the US and the then-independent Kingdom of Hawaii, cast their votes, ultimately crowning this meridian as the prime meridian of the world. The historic decision established a global standard for timekeeping, in the process forever modifying how we perceive and coordinate our lives with the relentless march of the clock. Two. Jet lag is worse if you head east instead of west. Jet lag, that groggy feeling after a long flight, can be a real drag. But here's a fun fact, it's actually worse when you travel east instead of west. That's because your body's internal clock, or circadian rhythm, naturally runs on a cycle slightly longer than 24 hours. Traveling west aligns more closely with this natural rhythm, as it effectively lengthens your day and gives your body more time to adjust. Traveling east shortens your day, forcing your body to play catch-up and resulting in more pronounced jet lag symptoms like fatigue, insomnia, and difficulty concentrating. I had none when I flew. Oh, I did go west. I did go west getting there. Sorry. I flew to Singapore, but I went west. I went Orlando, San Fran, Singapore. Ha! Just kidding. <laughs> One. The time capsules from Earth's infancy. In 1983, geologists in Western Australia unearthed a treasure trove of tiny zircon crystals dating back an incredible 4.4 billion years. They revealed a young planet far different from the one we previously thought existed at the formation of the Earth, including the presence of liquid water and a continental crust. In fact, the discovery completely changed our perception of the world's earliest history, and scientists now believe life could have emerged much sooner than we previously believed. Maybe the narrative of time is ripe for a rewrite. What do you think? One thing's for sure though, as we continue to explore all the facets of time, we're likely to encounter even more astonishing revelations, forever challenging our understanding of the past, present, and future. So, do you think we should abolish daylight saving time? Also, do you pronounce it saving or savings? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. And if you like this video, it's about time <laughs> you watch this one. 25 mind-blowing facts about time. Because again, you guys seem to love, you love this one. So if you haven't seen this one, click it. If you have, watch it again. Give us more views. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Oh, okay, I'm done.